Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, today's video, uh, first and foremost, man, huge, huge shout out to Podgeable for winning um, Masters, man. What a what an absolutely epic series between him and Cole Lamone. Um Wow. I had him picked the whole time. Um, I just knew the dude was going to win it. Um, he's in a zone. He's focused. And uh, the iron mindset of Podgeable, uh overcame, so... Congrats to you, dude. I'm really happy for you, man. Really, really happy for you. Um, there was some leaks during Masters. First, we're going to go through some of the cards that I didn't get to just yet. Um, but we're going to jam through them. Um, I got them all listed on my uh, Twitter if you want to check them out. Or just jump into the uh, Plague Went Discord as well. Um, first up, though, uh, Cat Witcher Adept. Three Strength, Four Provisions. Deploy Melee. Give an enemy unit bleeding with the duration equal to the number of units on that row. Deploy ranged. Give an allied unit vitality. Duration equal to the number of units on that row. I think you're almost always going to play this on ranged, it seems like. Um, sometimes bleed just gets weird. Um, I don't know. It's a so-so card. I love the art. It's going to be a cool premium. Uh, maybe it'll even fall in the uh, Easter egg. It'd be pretty funny. Uh, this was revealed to by Miss Lady J. Um, she's awesome, man. Uh, next one up. Uh, Succubus was re re relieved. Revealed by uh, Tech XX1. Um, Succubus, four strength, five provisions. Uh, Death Wish, at the end of your turn, summon a different copy of Succubus from your graveyard to a random row and give it doomed. Adrenaline three, don't give it doomed. Um... This seems like it's going to be a swarmy type thing. Probably something maybe with the Chimera, a possibility. Um, the art on this is insane. Absolutely insane. Um, it's probably going to see play. Um, it's it's a cheap... Um, the card that always comes back that's a four. Um, it's drawing a blank right now, but... Card seems really, really good, man. I, I don't see it. Uh, I see it being maybe a one of. I don't know if you'll put two of these in your deck. But um, if you're playing Consume, which they said on the stream that Haunt is getting bumped to 14. So that one's a, a kind of a nerf to it. But it's a Death Wish, so it procs, procs Haunt cheaply. So I don't know. Pretty good card. I think this one's for sure going to see play. Um, next one up, this was revealed by Seely. Uh, the Arch Griffin, uh, five strength, ten provisions. At the end of your round, shuffle this card back into your deck, and it keeps its boost. Um, this one seems like it's going to be nuts. Um, if you can somehow abuse the coin and keep this, and have this for a last say with a bunch of boosts on it, that's it's gonna it's gonna need heat waved, but. Um, I like it. I think it's a cool card. I'm, I'm almost positive that people are going to attempt to make this card work. It's not as good as the the Siri Dash Monster card, but it seems like it's going to give Mo or give Northern Realms something else to monkey around with. Um, I like it. I think it's going to be a cool card. Uh, next one up. This was revealed by Kafu. Um, he had a hilarious reveal for this with the um, Power Ranger video. It was pretty epic. Um, two strength, five provisions. Uh, deploy, boost self by one for every unit on the opposite row. Order, transfer all boosts from self to an allied unit. So you pair this up with the last card we just showed. And um, then you can carry over that possible boost. Um, so, I mean, you, if you can carry over eight points of boost, uh, you know, that would, or nine even, that would be uh, pretty bonkers on a last say. That's like that's like what Gord is normally, 14, 15. So, um, I don't know. This seems like it's going to be pretty crazy as well. Um, it is kind of slow, but... I don't know. It seems scary. Like, carry over Northern Realm seems like it's going to be... I, I think it's more going to be the Blue Stripes, but... Um, there's something here with this carryover. I'm, I'm, I'm 
I can tell already. Uh, next one was revealed by uh, the caster, Impetuous Panda. Uh, Maxi Van Derek. Um, deploy uh, six for six. Deploy, look at your deck in order from top to bottom. You may shuffle your deck, then put a card on the bottom of it. Um, it's May, though. You don't have to. I think it's going to give you two options the way the card reads. You can either leave it as is and just look at it and be like, sweet, I'm set up. Or you can hit the shuffle button and bury something dumb. Um, it seems like something you're going to play with Nilfgaard. Um, being able to shuffle your deck around seems like that's their thing. Um, consistency, I mean, you, you know what you're drawing, but it might be bad, you know what I mean? I guess reshuffling gives you a chance to fix it, but I don't know about this one. This one seems a little bit too meme -y. Now the next card, this was revealed by Shaggy. The art on this is sick. This guy has no eyes, so he's like the seer in Vikings, if there's any Vikings fans. Uh, War it, the all-seeing. Uh, seven strength, eight provisions. I'm definitely going to be playing this card. Um, deploy melee. Put the highest cost card in your opponent's deck to the top. Deploy range. Put the lowest costed card in your opponent's deck to the top. Um... Uh, so it like has some fun interactions in the mirror like your opponent plays this card they put the highest costed unit you play yours and then you put the lowest unit on the top it's it's going to be a lot of mind games and shuffling and you're going to have to like really remember which cards you're putting on the top and the bottom and stuff which it's going to be tough for me probably but um if that's where the great sun's going i guess i'm just going to be staring into the sun for a while but um, it, it's going to have a lot of fun with Cantarella. Um, Nilfgaard just seems they're just going with this annoyance of deck manipulation and stuff. So, I mean, a seven for eight that could possibly, uh, yoink something with Cantarella. I think it's worth playing. I mean, I, I think you pretty much always put this in the deck if you're playing Cantarella or, um, anything that can pull stuff out of your opponent's deck um i, I i'm for sure going to be playing it um next cards were all revealed at masters um we got uh first up snowdrop two strength eight provision zeal order draw two cards and then shuffle two cards back into your deck whenever you draw a card boost self by two um I think you can there's probably some stuff you could do with maybe like um burna and stuff with this if you're gonna play like a hyper thin skelliga um there's other ways to draw cards as well but um it seems like it's gonna pair up with like a discard type thing because you draw a card and discard a card so she would jump up um two strength though I mean, I guess, though, she bumps up automatically to 2, 4. She jumps up to 6. I, I think I think it's something you're going to put in with Skellige, maybe. Um, if you see any other scenarios for it, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, the card's okay, but I don't know. It, it's another one of those things where you can fix your hand. It, you fix your hand, and you also, too. I guess you can use it with blue stripes if you're bricked on some stuff. Um, it just adds, I guess, some consistency to your stuff, but I think there's better cards to play. Uh, next one, boy, this premium is going to be brutal. Uh, selective Mutation. Um, it's uh, six provisions. Uh, draw a card with Adrenaline of your choice, and then shuffle, up, shuffle back a card from your hand to your deck. Spawn a Witcher student on each allied row. So it automatically plays for four and you draw one of your adrenaline cards. You might um, be able to play... It's an alchemy card too. Um, you're probably not going to want to play this... Well, I guess in... No, I don't think you're going to want to play this in Skellige because it's going to mess up your devotion. Unless you're maybe playing something with maybe Gedneth. And... Uh, 
being able to draw your adrenaline cards. Um, I don't know. I I like the I like I like the card. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, being able to tutor an adrenaline card seems like it's going to be good. Which card you're going to pull? I think that depends on your build. And if you're able to go in from a tutor to a tutor, that's going to be really good because you're going to thin, you know, three cards, which is always good. So where it'll jump in, I'm not sure because you, you know, it's it. There is there any more alchemy tutors? Does uh, yeah, because uh, what's his name does Ermian. So it seems like something maybe you'd play in maybe the the shroom deck. I don't know. Cool card. Now this card's bananas. Um, it's uh, er Erdurin of Ilovo. Butchered that one. Um, six strength, eight provisions. The first time you spawn a unit each turn, spawn a one power copy of it and give it to him. So I guess this is really, really nuts with Kiki to where you can spawn, you know, some an extra Kiki on it. So you could play three of them with Karen Thier and the other one. Um, this card seems like it's going to be a big problem. <laughs> um, Karen Thier is already like kind of an issue, but this one, since everybody can do it now, I guess that's probably why they made Karen Thier um, only monster cards. But this one, there's, there's going to be a lot of uses for this card, and it's probably going to be the first premium I craft uh, next to Viper, because um, the art is just stupid good. Stupid good. I love it. I think this card's awesome. I fucking love it. Uh, and then they ended day one with this one, this Salamandra Mage, five for five. Uh, tribute 4, damage 3, adjacent units by 2, adrenaline 5, whenever you pay tribute ability, gain a coin. Um, I guess it's an answer for a czar, but I mean you're paying a tribute like that. I, I, don't, I don't think this one's going to be jumping into no Salamander deck anytime soon. I think there's maybe a one of, maybe like a tech card for a czar. Um, or the last card that we just seen, you know, it kills that copy. But I don't think you're dropping like two of these. Maybe a one of. Uh, and then the, the last day we got a whole bunch of them and they gave us the landscapes. Um, these cards were really cool. Um, we got the uh, first up Were Rat, the year of the Were Rat. We end the, end the year with them. This art is epic, man. This, this thing is the beast <laughs> uh five strength seven provisions and this card is really really good it's it's gonna be a a rat investation uh, so it's where rat beast order reset this unit's power and spawn a number of rats in this row equal to the amount of boosts it lost so if you It, 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 you can end up spawning a bunch of rats, and it's got a cooldown of one. At the end of your turn, consume a unit to the right. So it it can keep consuming stuff, so you can drop Death Wish units next to it. So it this card seems really, really good. I, I think this is auto-include for monsters, especially if you're Consume or if you're doing the Insectoid Swarm or if you're doing Rats Swarm. Um, it just has so many different uses, um, and I, I can only imagine what this premium is going to look like, but, um, seven provisions, that's a nice slot. I mean, that's, I, I, you, you should have no problem being able to fit this bad boy in there. Great card. And then we got them. This, the, the landscapes were finally revered their, their locations, um, this one is the Nilfgaard one, Gorth Gavid. Uh, resilience. There are scenarios that are, or there are locations with resilience. Deploy, and you get the options. You can either spawn and play a Viper Witcher Adept, Viper Witcher, Viper Witcher Menor, or Viper Witcher Alchemist. So you play this, 
Then you play the... Oh, it's on deploy. Um, so you would play the the Seer guy. That was my John Cena. Um, then play this, and then you can play the Mentor, I believe it is, that uh, picks the top highest provision card. And then it has order, move a unit from your opponent's graveyard to the top of their deck. So you don't even have to worry. You can do it all in one turn. Um, or you can do it again with another Viper Witcher. You can put that back on the top of the deck. And do it again with another Witcher. Mentor. That seems pretty good. Um, they're basically just... You're, it seems the way Nilfgaard is going to be played is... Did your opponent draw their good cards? No? Okay, cool. I drew some good cards of my opponent. Um, I, I think this one's going to be all right. Um, you're moving stuff out of the graveyard, so the Viper is going to still have some play, which is awesome. Um, and if you can find a way to play that top card with Cantarella or something, uh, once again, it's going to get really annoying for your opponent. Um this is definitely going to pirate pair up with the Viper and uh, the other deck. So, really cool. I'm definitely going to be playing that day one. Um, next one up, the Skellige one. Skellige, they make me so mad because they just, everything they get is good. Like, it's so annoying. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to say this. The Hair Church. <laughs> uh, Resilience Deploy. Spawn and Play. The... The, the option of witchers and then order heal adjacent units by three a lot of these things damage themselves so i mean you just position this in the correct way and you profit off of it i think this once again skilliga gets i think they got the best one personally um because it's for sure like you for sure know you you can heal stuff you for sure know which card you're going to get and they're all most of them are all really good so, I mean, you, I think you're always going to include this card. It's almost a given. Like, they, they, they're just Skellige things. Uh, and then the last one. This was the one that was revealed a long time ago. This is the Skoytel one. Um, Stigia, Stigia Castle, Resilience. And then it spawns the Witchers. And then Order, move three allied units to other rows. So you can... You know, move a couple things up and then play, you know, say the Cat Witcher, or the, you know, it, it this one's going to be good as well. Um, the the movement one, the movement archetype is going to be really fun to play. It'll probably be the second deck that I build. Um, but th just this resilience, you know, just deploying something on possibly and carrying this over. with You don't even have to use it. You can maybe use it later on and get the value later but it just this little bit of resilience is i think key with it it's it's key um great card uh we got a uh, couple more left here the car seren um this is the northern realms one once again resilience spawn the witchers order boost a unit in your deck by three so you can carry over some more with um the griffin um since it's in your deck um this this one's okay i think it depends on what you get out of this uh, what's on the board but um you know even playing this in like round one, it's only eight provisions you know these are only eight so i mean even if you play this in round one you go into the next round you proc the boost play a card you got three points of carryover i mean that seems all right i i, I think these are almost all going to be auto include for the time being just because they're so cheap like and it, it's two things it's cheap and you're getting two things it, these are almost like the old summoning circles in my opinion um except it didn't you couldn't keep doing it but that's what it reminds me of it's uh i think they're all going to be they're going to be everywhere i think artifact remover is going to be huge if you can find it uh and then i I think there's two more um this was the cover that i chose so because i love this art it just looks like some pit in the pendulum stuff man i love it um the salamandra hideout 
resilience and then it's got the deploy to spawn all the poison stuff and then it has order move a poison from an ally to another unit so you could take the poison off of something of your own and then play maybe play like a morel or you know a trafficker or something i think this card's sweet this card is going to be so good in uh just being able to play two poisons like morel you know you got to wait a turn yeah but it's like people got five damage somewhere it's like this are they going to have artifact removal to remove a poison um and it seems like the poisons are going to be everywhere so i really like this card i like the uh self-poisoning archetype especially too when you're throwing it back at them um and this is probably going to be another one with a really really great premium uh, and then the last one, the Doldulok, Doldulok, um, same thing, this one, uh, well this one's a little bit different, it's Spawn, play the Succubus, Fuka, Chimera, or Hybrid, what was on the last one, it was, uh, Failed Experiment, Salamandra, Abominate, it's, it's the bronze cards that are, each one, each faction got five I believe, so they get to spawn each five, um, or the Hybrid, um, but I mean, being able to spawn just a succubus to start an engine or a Fuka on bleed, um, it seems really good. And then once again, order, move the highest powered unit to the top of your deck and spawn a drone on both sides of this. Now this is where they're going to get kind of screwed if they proc this and then you have Cantarella cause you're going to yoink their best unit so this one has kind of a downside but um it's i think it's still really good i think it probably has the like best base value maybe i don't know if that's the correct word but this putting something on the top might be something that's super bad about it it depends on how people play milf guard um love the art on this one is the the this the scenes on these, you know, giving them that magic lands type look to them. And uh, I hope they make more of these. I really do. They're cheap. They they add different layers to the game. Everything so far with the locations and adrenaline, um, just adding more complexity to the game, man. Um, Tuesday's here. It, it's, you know, Way the Witcher Tuesday. Um, I'm going to try to maybe stream. If not, I'll just... Um, get some stuff out as quick as I can um, I'm gonna since I got all these now I'm gonna start working on the seasonal list for uh, season of the wild hunt so keep an eye out for that um, like always guys thank you so much you want to come up here meme? you want to say hi to the peoples come here come here they want to see you oh. Oh. it's the meme <laughs> you're being good huh are we gonna go bub ice? You go bub ice? <laughs> She's a good dog. But thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you. I'll see you next time.